my heart. On behalf of WCVH, this is CV Today. Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, October 2nd. Now over to Jamie with some more announcements. Thank you. The quote of the day today is, Don't go through life, grow through life, by Eric Butterworth. Lunch for today is French toast sticks and a hot combo of grilled chicken sandwich. And lunch for tomorrow is buffalo chicken pizza and a hot combo of rib sandwich. Now, over to your weather report. What's up, you guys? I'm Lindsay. And I'm Beth. Wait, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Beth. And, and we're, we're bringing, bringing the, the weather, weather to you. you. Okay, so today is going to be partly cloudy in the morning, but this afternoon and tonight there are going to be thunderstorms. Yep, and it's going to be a high of 80 and a low of 64. Now over to headline news. Okay. I think that was good, right? This is Zachary Laxton, and he is no stranger to getting behind the wheel. Then again, it's pretty much his office these days. About a year and a half. That's how long he's been driving for Lyft. 2,200 trips later, he admits that most haven't been too exciting. Not as many as you think. But that all changed last week. So me and a passenger were driving over the bridge, and we noticed a man like walking towards us on the bridge. And then he got up on the railing, and we drove past him and we were kind of just in shock. That man, standing on the railing of the Burnside Bridge, Laxton immediately pulls over and calls 911. He was looking down and it kind of, in my mind, he was contemplating it. He said that he was just going to jump head first and just end it all. His passenger able to talk the man down, police then showing up. I've never had that experience before. It doesn't feel real until you see it in person right. or someone you know attempts it or does it. For Laxton, he says he was simply in the right place at the right time, with the right person. Well, having the passenger with me gave me the confidence to do it, and I don't know if I would have stopped without her. His takeaway from all of this? There's hope. Just like that sign near the bridge reads. Just as a society, that mental health is definitely an issue. And there's a stigma on it, and there shouldn't be. And if you know someone who's in trouble, do them and yourself a favor by reaching out. Just letting somebody know that you care and you're there for them is a really big deal. I'm Sophia Steed, reporting. Are you a high school student who's making a difference through volunteering? If you are, then you should apply for the 2019 Prudential Spirit of Community Award and you could win $1,000 and a trip to Washington, D.C. next April. Stop by the guidance office and pick up the information sheet on the scholarship board. The deadline to apply is November 6th. Greetings from Dutch Wonderland. We are currently into our fall and winter operating schedule and have positions available for applicants ages 16 years or older who may be seeking weekend employment. If you are interested, please apply at online at dutchwonderland.com. Now over to word of the day. Your word of the day today is palatial. It is an adjective meaning magnificent. Now what exactly are you looking for? Um, something big and something grand. I want something palatial. I think I found the perfect one. It's perfect! And that was your word of the day. Thank you to all who voted for the One Book, One School book on Friday during lunches. The winner this year is One of Us is Lying. If you voted for One of Us is Lying, stay tuned to see if your name was pulled to win a free copy of the book. Winner's name's coming soon. SATs are on Saturday, 10-6. If you are registered to take them, please be here at CVHS by 7.30 a.m. Remember your photo ID and SAT administration ticket, and bring your own calculator, pencils, and erasers. Now over to CV Sports.
Tennis League semifinals are today at Lancaster Catholic at 4, dismissal at 2.15. There is an away boys soccer game at Warwick at 7. There is a home girls soccer game against Warwick at 4. There is a home cross country meet. The race starts at 4.45 for the boys and 5.15 for the girls. There is a home volleyball match against Lancaster Catholic at 7. There's a home field hockey game against Hempfield at 7.45. Come out and support the Bucks. Now over to sports highlights. Aww. <laughs> four for four on his field goal attempts so far this year. This from 42. Bucker, who seized upon an opportunity last year as a rookie, took full advantage. He's two for two this year so far. And that is the first linebacker, Brandon Marshall, is on. Or Kelsey. Mahomes. He's going to try to get there on his own, and he does so with ease. Showtime. Third down and one. Pitch to Freeman. Taking a long time to get there, and then he breaks free. Cuts back inside the five and grabs a man for a touchdown. On the year. This will be a 34-yard attempt to break the tie at the half. Yarder from Butker. Win early to still get a block. Kansas City trying to run a man out onto the field. As Lindsey goes ahead and into the end zone and a flag is down. By Genovich. So here is McManus from 46. Here's Kelsey in for the score. Here's Hunt, and he's in for the score! Kansas City takes the lead! That's all the announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Joe. Alongside Natalie. And this is CV Today. Have a guess who's day. Lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier, I want you to be happier. When the evening falls, and I'm left there with my thoughts,